it's like if this is the only thing I get done today figuring out exactly where this flashing goes and then moving the tiles back and stuff I've actually had a good day because I really wanted to get this done right because if I did it wrong I I'd have to cut the cut the tiles and I don't have a cutter and I didn't want to have to cut anything and so Plus we figured out some other stuff with these tiles, didn't we? See this piece is that flat piece. This is going to go facing down and then, and then this one goes in there facing up. And here's the holes that I have drilled for that. First things first, I've got to wedge, wedge this first one up in there with these tiles. These tiles in my way now too, huh? Am I gonna have to pull some of these tiles up? I might have to. Ah. I'm thinking this goes. Yeah, that goes in that that way. And uh, to push it up tight to the stucco. Slip it back that way, like that. Well, see, my question is do I make this flush? Just make the tile. I'm not going to hit that in any further just yet. This, well, this still has to fit in behind that stucco too. But that's how it was before. That's just how it was. Okay. And when I had the pencil mark, I was guessing about right where I had the pencil. before. So that would have been, that would have worked out really nice. Okay, so now my question, my question becomes, I think I can leave it right, right about where the pencil mark was. I don't flush with that. Got a little bit of a, of a gap in there. I 
That's straight. This will this will come back. can be slightly adjusted. This is up tight to that. So if anything, if I needed to move this, I'd have to move it out just a little bit and I've got just a little bit. So then, then I gotta decide how do I want this? And If I push that, I don't think I want this sitting any closer to the wood. I can have it, I can have it right about like that. That looks pretty good. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason. I could make the bottom one flush. With the wood. Right now I got a long half inch and over here. I got three quarters. You see I, I would have to move this this side out just a hair. And to think. I was poo-pooing this, this flat bar. I've never had one with, with the DV bobber in there. So far I've used, I used the end, I've used this, I've used this. Okay. And that gives me a little bit of a reveal. I don't think anybody's going to hit their, I'm hoping nobody's going to trip over that. See, somebody catch their, their toe on that as they're coming up. I'm just not sold on that just yet. here is not the same because these tiles are, have been cut at an angle. And if I push, if I push this flush up against there, it's going to stick out even further. And that's like five sixteenths right now, and it's a little less, a quarter inch there, and it's probably three eighths down here. Eights down there. I could, I could live with that. Okay. So I know, I know this flashing is right up tight with that, and that's good. That gives me, that gives me enough room gives me enough room here. And it's right where the pencil mark was. Wow. Who would have thunk? I mean, I knew it was going to be close, but I wanted to, to really make sure everything was going to be right. Okay? So, now I have to pull this back out. And I know, I know what I want to do. The bottom piece I want, and 
V8s here, quarter wrench on this side, looks like. And that gives me something close, that's half inch. And a long five eighths. And I think, I think that'll be okay. I don't think anybody's gonna trip over that as they're going up and down. And I'm just gonna have to be careful that coming up the stair. Most people don't put their toes right right to the end anyways as you're coming up. You don't see the next thing that I'm going to do this floor quickly and easily on my channel. Go to my playlists and find the one titled oh what am I going to title it? Dry Rot Deck repairs. I'll have all kinds of videos on here from the start of this project all the way through to installing, reinstalling the pavers. Yes, all of these pavers go down on this floor, but there's quite a few different steps I still have to do. So look for those on my channel. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos. And if you like what you see on my channel, subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much.